With automated templates, you can create presentations, reports, and other slide decks faster than ever. By completing a quick form, you can instantly create a Google Slides presentation populated with custom text and even images. Today, I'm gonna to show you how it all works with a simple three-step automation in Make, formerly known as Integromat. Hi, I'm Tom from X-Ray Tech, the workflow company. At X-Ray, we use workflow automation to create more time for our members. To learn more about our services, check out our website at xray.tech. If you'd like to learn more about creating your own automated workflows, sign up for our workflow design course at course.xray.tech. And be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications for more free automation tips every single week. In this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically generate a Google slide presentation from a template whenever you fill out a form in Airtable. All you need are free accounts for Google Slides, Make, and Airtable, or any other form building app that you wanna use. Now let's get started. To begin, just create a presentation as normal, or use slides.new if you'd like to be a little fancy. You won't need to upload this presentation as a template in Google Drive. Google Drive has their own version of templates that we don't really care about for this tutorial. Note that the automation will create a copy of the deck that you designate as a template inside of Make. Then, that copy will have its variables filled in with custom data. Here, I've got a slide deck for presenting info about various cities around the world. To create variables in your slide deck, just enclose any words in two sets of curly brackets. For compatibility with Make, you can use spaces, special characters, or pretty much anything you want in your variable names. However, we still recommend using camel case, just in case you also want to automate with Zapier. Zapier will only accept normal letters and numbers. They won't accept spaces or most special characters. So for our example, we have city name here as camel case with no spaces enclosed in two sets of curly brackets. There's also description enclosed in two sets of curly brackets. Note that you can replace these variables with either text or images. That's why we have this image variable here. We're going to replace that with an image. One really cool thing is that effects like drop shadows on your text variables will also apply to images as well. So when this image text is replaced with an actual image, that image will still have the same drop shadow effect. When the text is replaced with an image, the image will have the same width as the text box you've drawn. The top of the image will align roughly with the top of the text box as well, so you'll want to draw the text box where you want the image to be. Getting the exact right placement may take a little trial and error. Once your variable tags are all set, it's time to create a form in Airtable. In Airtable, create a form with a question for each variable that you added to your slide deck. You could also use apps like Tally, Typeform, or Google Forms. Again, anything that lets you make a form is fine. Just note that our automation tutorial will be specific to Airtable, so some of the configuration options will be different if you're using a different form or survey app. If you're new to Airtable and would like to learn more about using that app, you can check out our beginner's guide linked on your screen right now. In Airtable, you can make a form by creating a form view for any table that you've already made. When you do that, every field in your table will become a field in the attached form view. Just make sure to choose appropriate data types for each field. In my example here, most of the field types are text. However, we do have one image field, which is set to attachment. That will allow us to upload an image to the field. You'll also note that I've included a created time field. This is a necessary field whenever you're trying to automate Airtable with Make. This field will be automatically populated with the date and time when each record was created. Since Airtable fills it in automatically, this field won't be included in the form. I'll make a form view now. Then I'll give it a title and a description. All of the fields are already here and the created time is correctly left out. Great. Once your form is all set, open it up and fill it out to create some test data. You always need test data on hand when you're building no-code automations. I'll fill it out once for Paris, which is the greatest city on earth, if you like wine, cheese, bread, and artsy movies. Now that I've submitted my form, the test answers are here in the table. We're all set to make the automation itself. To create the automation, begin by opening up Make and signing in. If you don't have an account yet, you can create one for free. If you want to support the channel while you do it, sign up with the link in the resources board. It won't cost you anything extra and we'd really appreciate it. You can also check out our Make Beginners Guide to learn the ropes. Once you're signed in, create a new scenario and choose Airtable as the app. 
Then pick Watch Records as the event. Sign in to Airtable to authorize Make if you haven't already. Then choose the correct base and table to watch. We'll watch the Presentations table for new records. For the trigger field, you need to pick a field with date time data that Make can use to sort your records. That lets it determine which records were created most recently, and this is why we made the created time field earlier. For label, pick a field to use as the label or title for each record. You can pick any one that you want. Under limit, you can set the maximum number of records that the automation will retrieve each time that it runs. You can set this to whatever you'd like also. Once your trigger is configured, click OK. Then test the trigger. Looks like it was successful, and when I click on this number here, I see the test data retrieved by the trigger. Next, add a new module to your scenario. Search for Google Slides and choose Create Presentation from Template. Sign into your Google account if you haven't already. Provide a title to use for each new presentation. Throw in some dynamic data to make sure the names aren't always the same. Then, identify the presentation you want to use as your template. Once you choose it, all the variables in your deck will appear under this Values section. Map your Airtable form data to every field, except any image variables. We'll need a separate step to fill in those, so just leave it blank for now. Next, pick a Drive folder to store each new presentation in. Once you've finished configuring the module, click OK. Now you can test your whole scenario again. It looks successful, but I'll open it up in Google Drive to check the newly created deck. All the text looks great. The image variable is still unchanged, but that's fine. We skipped it deliberately before. We'll add one last step to this automation to fill in the image variable next. Go back to your make scenario and add a new module. Search for Google Slides and choose Upload an image to a presentation. For presentation ID, enter the presentation ID retrieved in the previous step, not the ID of the original template. Under Select the method, you can stick with Upload an image by replacing text tag. In the Values section, add a new item. In the Tag field, type your image variable name without any curly brackets. For instance, I'll just enter Image. In the Image URL field, enter the URL of the image you want to upload. I'll select the image URL retrieved from Airtable. If you have several image variables, you can create additional items here for each one. Once you're all set, click OK. Now you can test the scenario one more time. It looks like it was successful, but as always, I'll check Google Drive to be sure. The presentation is there. All of the text variables have been filled in just like before, but this time, the image variable also has been replaced. We're all set to save this automation, turn it on, and start using it. With automated Google Slides presentations, you can save time whenever you need to create a commonly used report or other document. You can also use this form to let collaborators create presentations in your account without logging in and getting direct access. No matter how you want to use this automation, it just takes a few minutes to set up, so give it a shot today and let us know what you think in the comments. If this video helped you save some time, leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more automation tips every week. If you'd like to learn more about low-code automation and workflow design, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can find all those links in the resources board down below, and as always, find your focus and stay in flow.